مرحبا اوسم 7th graders كيف حالكم بخير شكرا for tuning in and watching this recording this recording is going to be like a review before our test on Thursday so I thought I will show you uh, like a few slides uh, this will be like a review before our test as you know boys and girls we've been covering sports uh, for the last couple of weeks, El Riyada, El Riyada, and we are going to, I'm going to show you uh, the uh, different sports that we looked at and the verbs that we used. All right. So the first type of sport that we learn in Arabic is Kurat Al Qadam, Kurat Al Qadam, which is soccer, Kurat Al Qadam. And when I want to say my favorite sport is, I will say Riyadati Al Mufaddala. Riyadati Al Mufaddala. And the reason why I said Riyadati is because it's like my favorite sports. All right. Riyada is sport. Riyadati is my, my, my sport. Like, you know, that is like my favorite sport. All right. So, and so this is Kura Tal Qadam. And this ball here is Kura. Kura. All right. The second type of sport is Kura Al Salla. Kura Al Salla. Basketball. Riyadati Al Mufaddala. Kura Al Salla. My favorite sport is. Basketball, Kurat Al Salla, Kurat Al Salla. Then I have tennis, which is Kurat Al Madrib, Kurat Al Madrib, Kurat Al Madrib, Riyadat Al Mufaddala, Kurat Al Madrib. All right. So after uh, these uh, three sports, we're going to look at. Al Rakad, running. Riyada til Mufaddala, Al Rakad. My favorite sport is running. Riyada til Al Mufaddala, Al Rakad. Remember what I told you, like a racket starts with the Ra, running, you know, so that will be an, hopefully an easy association. Then here I have swimming, swimming, Al Sibaha, swimming. Same thing, swimming with an S, Al Sibaha Maasin. And last but not least, I have dancing, 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 Al Rakus, Al Rakus, Al Rakus. So let's have a look one more time before we go to the verbs. Kurat Al Qadam, Kurat Al Salla. Kurat al Madrib, Al Rakad, Al Sibaha, Al Rakus. This slide here, is, here shows you the different type of balls that we use in sports, and ball in Arabic is Kura. Kura. All right, boys and girls, so here you have the study guide that's also available. Uh, on Google Classroom for you to open and review. Okay, I have the same words that uh, I just showed you. So now we are going to talk about the verbs that we are that we're going to be using with these type of sports. I like, I don't like, I play, I don't play, I practice. All right, so uh, I like in Arabic is أحب. 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 I do not like لا أحب. If I want to say I like soccer, أحب كرة القدم. If I want to say I do not like swimming, لا أحب السباحة. All right, أحب لا أحب. Then I have here, I play and I do not play. Al'ab, la al'ab. Al'ab, 
كرة السلة لا ألعب كرة المضرب I play tennis ألعب كرة المضرب I do not play basketball لا ألعب كرة السلة Okay The third verb that I want to show you is أمارس I practice um, I practice or I do not practice أمارس السباحة I practice swimming أمارس الرقد أمارس الرقص I practice, for example, dancing لا أمارس is I do not practice لا أمارس السباحة لا أمارس الرقد All right, boys and girls And here you have uh, the uh, the three sports that we learned uh, and the verbs that you will be using with these three sports. I umaris al-rakad, umaris al-sibaha, umaris al-raqas. La umaris al-rakad, la umaris al-sibaha, la umaris al-raqas. All right, boys and girls, and here, uh, we have the slide of how to use the verb to practice in sentences. Umaris al raqid La umaris al raqid Basically, you have to learn the vocabulary really well and put the sentence in order, just like in English. All right, boys and girls, the reason why I am showing you this, this is really a, a review for your test and also you are going to have uh, a mini project uh, about the type of sports that we learned and also uh, uh, you know using right using uh, these words and verbs to create sentences so i'm going to show you here this is the document that i will share with you boys and girls uh, on google classroom of course and uh, it is called Sports and Leisure, Oral and Written Activity. Actually, I'm going to remove this. It is a Sports, Oral and Written Activity based on Lessons 1 and 2, which are the six type of sports and the three verbs that you learned. So you will be writing six sentences using the sports vocab keywords and the verbs that you already studied, and they are all shown in the study guide. That is also uh, uh, on Google Classroom. And then you're going to record your sentences uh, after you write the six sentences. You know, you're going to record it with your own voice, stating your name, your grade, and, uh, you know, first you have to present yourself and um talk about your favorite sports here's an example boys and girls i put here for example i will say marhaba ismi ms jj marhaba my name is ms jj marhaba ismi ms jj ana fi saf al saba ana fi saf al saba i am in 7th grade uhib al riyada I like sports. أحب الرياضة. ألعب كرة القدم. أحب كرة السلة. أمارس الركض. لا أحب كرة المضرب. Oops, I wrote it here wrong. المضرب. 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 لا أمارس الرقص. شكرا. So. What do I have here? I have here, I'm presenting myself. Marhaba, is is JJ. Ana fi saf al-saba. I am in seventh grade. I have six sentences here where I used different verbs. Uhub, alab, umaris. I practice. La uhub, I do not like. La umaris, I do not practice. And then I ended my 
short recording with shukran. Thank you. All right. So here I have a special note for you. Um, you can combine your sentences using wa, which is and. All right. And uh, I will count them as two different sentences. For example, if I say, if you say, وحب كرة السلة وأمارس الركض وحب كرة السلة وأمارس الركض then this will count as two sentences. وحب كرة السلة I like basketball and أمارس الركض I practice running. I will, we will consider this as two sentences. Then you have here the table where really we really would like for you to write your sentences. You state your name here in grade. Marhaba, my name is. I am Ana Marhaba Ismi, blah, blah, blah. Ana Fisaf Saba. You write your sentences here, different verbs and different uh, sports, and shukran. Then you go on vocaru.com. And you, uh, you, uh, you know, you record your six sentences. When you're done, you save it and copy and paste your vocabulary recording here. Uh, you can also use Flipgrid. I know many of you are using Flipgrid. Definitely, yes, you can use Flipgrid. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Uh, review lesson and I will see you in class all right ma salama shukran wa ma salama